Hello, and in this video, I'm going to be briefly describing how to use ADB's 32 bit loader. The things that we need to notice is on this main screen here, this is called the splash screen. The only time this icon shows up that you notice here on the toolbar located here, okay, is when you are in the splash screen. This does not show up anywhere else. Let's begin. All right, so first thing that we need to do if this icon is not showing up, okay, is go to your setup screen. Okay, we need to come to 32-bit X-Series Loader where your toolbar button, buttons are located. Okay, we need to make sure that that is checked. Once that is checked, hit close. Okay, we're going to come to here and hit on 32-bit X-Series. So this is just making sure that if we are wiping out a device, adding in a new flash or firmware on this device, that we need to make sure we do a collect. What that collect does is collect all your measurement data, archive data, uh, logs, things like that, so that we still have an account or audit log for the measurement side of uh, this product. So we're going to go into 32-bit loader. I'm going to hit yes. Okay, it's bringing me into here. The ways that I recommend doing this is if you're going to do a serial connection via either uh, the PCCU cable, which I do not recommend ever using in 32-bit loader, um, or USB. That is the preference if you're going to do a serial connection is to use the USB cable. If you're using a military cable or a PCCU cable, it is going to take you a very long time to do any type of commands in 32-bit loader. It's just too slow what you're doing but I'm going to be working off of network okay so here's the IP of the device that I'm going to be hitting okay when I come into here here's my device information I am working on an XRC G5 which is located here I do have the latest OS and flash which is located here so first things first is I'm going to recommend that you always save a config okay so I'm going to come up here I'm going to hit save Okay, I can select to grab all three of these files if I want to save and uh, load the same flash in OS in every device that I put this config on, which is highly recommended. But for the time being, since I'm just worried about transferring this config to another location, I'm just going to save the config for now. So I'm going to uncheck OS, I'm going to uncheck the app, and only grab the config off of this. I'm going to hit start. Okay, when it gets done, it's going to pop up a new box. Uh, this is the default file path to where this is located uh, once you download PCCU. Okay, so here's one that I've done previously. I'm just going to click on that and call this version 2 just to rename it. Okay, so here's the new config that I just loaded. All right, if you look over here, it copied successfully so we're all done so we can go ahead and hit close on this case okay, so in the reverse now if I wanted to load this config let's say that this is a brand new site okay it's going to be somewhat of the same process okay so if I go to the new site I'm starting on the splash screen I'm going to do 32-bit loader hit yes okay I'm going to log in via the same way with my IP located in that bar okay I'm going to come over here to browse now okay when I browse it should bring up the default location of where these package files are saved. Okay, now here's the latest one that I just saved. I'm going to grab it. I'm going to hit open. Okay, important note here I've got a config and I've got a calibration file. This calibration file is up for all your AIs, AOs, and your multivariables for any of your tube based stuff. So your measurement tubes. So if you do not want to transfer that from site to site, it is recommended that you uncheck this right there. Okay. I do want to transfer my calibration data, so I'm going to keep it checked. So I'm going to go ahead and hit send. Okay, it's going to say that, hey, are you sure you want to do this? I'm going to hit yes. I don't know why ABB does this every time. We've asked for this to be uh, fixed where it doesn't pop up. This should only pop up when it's an incompatible file. Uh, just ignore it. <laughs> it's the best advice I can say. Hit yes. All right, so it is done. All right, so at the end of that, it's going to cold boot the device. So in save and restore, you have to go into terminal mode and do boot equals cold. Okay, if you do it for 32-bit loader, it does it for you. Okay, and it will reconnect after it gets done bootloading. It should take about a minute, minute and a half typically. Um, if this ever times out, which is a common occurrence, it's just that PCCU has timed out versus when the controller actually woke back up. Um, just verify uh, that it is awake if not you may have to restart this process if the two line display that is on the total flow is scrolling like it's awake uh, you can go ahead and just hit close um, and log back in and go to your data from there or if you need to just verify that's good and restart the process but this is the recommended way for loading configs in a total flow 
uh, it is a cleaner install every time. Uh, hope this was informative and uh, appreciate it. Bye-bye.